वेलकम टू कम्युनिटी डिबेट आई एम योर होस्ट हलीमा सादिया हमेशा की तरह कम्युनिटी में क्या हो रहा है और कुछ ना कुछ जो हो रहा है उसका कुछ हिस्सा हम आपके साथ शेयर करते हैं कोई न्यूज ऐसी लाते हैं कि जो प्रोग्राम होने जा रहा होता है उसमें आप भी शामिल हो सकते हैं आज हमारे पास मेहमान है मिसिज इंडिया वर्ल्ड वाइड कॉनिका ग्रोवर ये एक पैजेंट है ब्यूटी पैजेंट है और अब कॉन्टेस्ट करने जा रही है मिसिस कैनेडा इंक में तो आइए बात करते हैं वेलकम कानिका थैंक यू अलिमा थैंक यू फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी फॉर द इंटरव्यू हियर सो कानिका आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस अबाउट ब्यूटी पैजेंट एंड ऑल दैट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ टू आवर व्यूअर्स हाउएवर यू वांट टू परफेक्ट सो हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज कानिका ग्रोवर एंड आई एम अ फैशन मॉडल बाय पैशन एंड आई वेंट फॉर मिसेस इंडिया वर्ल्ड वाइड व्हिच वाज हेल्ड इन दुबई इट वाज इन जून आई वन द टाइटल फॉर फर्स्ट रनर अप फ्रॉम कनाडा it was a beautiful experience where we competed among 107 contestants and now my journey doesn't stop there with just one crown it still continues so my second pageant that i'm participating is for mrs canada inc which is happening in toronto and i'm a finalist there and will be competing among 35 almost approx uh, mrs ladies and uh, we're going to this pageant is going to held in uh, toronto eglinton grand so i'll be one of the participants there So what is the date? What is the date for that? So this is being held on July 16th and the tickets are open. It's a public event. You guys are most welcome to come and watch the show. It's open to everyone. So how people can access to like for the information and who's responsible who they can contact with okay so this pageant is basically held by a beautiful lady annie annie manjuran she's the director of mrs canada inc so most of the people uh, seeing you know this mrs canada inc on social media now going so much viral people are seeing more posts about it basically this also used to happen in the previous years so last year uh, patricia dr patricia clan she is going to be one of our judges also in this pageant and the tickets are available on event right so you guys are most welcome to come and buy tickets and see us on the day on July 16th for our grand finale so pageantry is considered one of the most difficult thing yes but the question which promptly come into our mind is what is the cause and benefit of it yeah so basically uh, pageantry is considered something which is related to beauty right my cause of participating in beauty pageants was not just uh, showing my beautiful outside to the country to the people to the world but it is what's more important is what is behind it so behind a beautiful brain also uh, lies a beautiful mind a beautiful soul where you want to do good for the community where you want to do good for the people around you so participating in beauty pageants is not just winning a crown and sitting back home and taking pride of it for me coming out in the society and a country like canada which is diverse in culture i want to tell people with the message of my crown and my title that there is something beyond it where we can work for the community for the society most people also think me to have you know a very good height or a very good body to participate in pageants like this but i would say no this is not it you cannot have uh, you know you cannot have that mindset in your head that you know you need to have a good body or a good uh, good physique this is misses so this gives an opportunity for ladies like us who got married at pretty early age so we can come out and fly our dreams and you know have a cause for the society and live our dreams with them i think it's all about grooming yourself to yeah. be with people like you in your surrounding and learning a lot of things so let's just talk about what are the titles which uh, are going to be in this whole system sure so there are different titles the main five ones are mrs canada mrs canada earth mrs canada globe mrs canada universe and mrs canada international so any of these titles that we win we also get a chance to go ahead and participate internationally so for instance if i win mrs universe so i get to go to philippines where i will be competing with another 107 queens out there who will be the top winners from their countries and uh, we get a bigger platform a bigger level to see how the world is and how people are doing good for their country and their society so what do you think what one should do those especially who are looking forward to come into this industry what should they do 
So, what I would say that uh, this industry definitely takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of energy, it takes a lot of passion. I have always been driven by my passion for be it poetry, be it writing, be it coming onto the glamour industry, talking on camera, making reels like Instagram is pretty famous now, people are going ahead and making reels, right? So, what is it if I cannot be used to the society of what I am doing? So, the purpose I see of my life has to be something. I am here, I am doing my job, I am doing my work, I am in the community, but it is really important when one has a purpose of their life. I believe my purpose of life is to do something good for the community. So, my passion that drives me through this purpose and brings me there. So, my message to the viewers, to the people is that you should never ever underestimate the power of yourself, the power of how strong you are the belief that you have within yourself. If you believe in your dreams, naturally the family, your husband, your mother, your daughter, sister, anyone. So, they also believe in you and once they believe in your dreams that you have for yourself, they will support you and as they say, the power of energy is too much. This universe is full of energy around you. So, I believe in throwing good energy to the universe and that is what it gives me back. I have been manifesting for this day, you know, when I was a child that, you know, I will go up on the stage someday, I will be crown something and I do not know that this is the way it will come in my life at this point of stage but I am glad that it came at, at this point of a stage where I am young and I can do things. I can run about and live my dream, work for my passion. So, that is how I would like to say never underestimate yourself. Always and always there is a will, where there is a will there is a way. So, if you guys want to do something ahead, I already have one victory on me and lot more which I am uh, manifesting which will come so that I can tell people through this that you guys do not have to stop. You guys have to go on and continue only then people around you will support you. So, let us come to see that how long have you been associated with this pageantry? Yeah, so pageant industry, I was always a big fan of it. So, when I was 12 years old first time, that was the first time I got into the pageants. My mom, she put me on the stage where I competed for Miss Uttarakhand and I won the title. Then second, uh, it was you know from then on I realized okay my stage fear gone, I can go up on the stage. I kept participating in small events that were happening in school where you know you are debating, you are coming on stage, dancing or anything. So, that brought, that brought my fears down and then came uh, my school title where you know it was Miss Ramney. So, I am from a convent school, we had Miss Ramney and uh, other subtitles were given. There I won Miss 10 which had all the top 10 qualities. Then in my college, there I won Miss BSV and then coming back after my college I got married and in my uh, marriage of course thankfully my in-laws were very supportive. They were always my mother-in-law she did not they do not have a daughter. So, they kind of you know wanted to push me and bring me there where they could live that life with me. So, she always supported me and motivated me. We had Mrs. Mera Home Queen, we had Jodi number 1, we had uh, uh, the Teach Festival. So, whatever was there she made sure I was a participant there and thankfully I always won and came back. So, this has always been a limelight in my life where I got a chance and I did something. It started from very small and now it has come up to so big where I am representing my country which is a big, big thing for me. First, I was representing me, myself, my family and now it is a country uh, matter. So, I take pride in it and I feel proud of myself that, uh, you know, little, little things, they make it big. So, how little, little things you work hard and one day the success, you know, it touches your feet. So, that is how it is, I believe. So, what are you looking forward in your career? What will, uh, what would you say that this is what I will achieve because of being a pageant? So, because of being in pageant, you get a chance to get into modeling, to get into advertisements, to get into TVs, Netflix and uh, the other Bollywood shows or something like that. I do not know what destiny really holds for me, but I have just closed my eyes and just working towards my passion. Whatever opportunities are coming my way, I do not neglect them be it I am paid or not that is my second thought but yeah I do grab it and I go ahead because you never know which little opportunity could be an opening door for something new in life for you. So, I would say I do not know what really destiny holds but my passion right now is uh, to keep doing good for the community that is what I want. So, usually um, 
this kind of industry has always been a question mark. Do you think that people are ready to accept it as a normal way, like showbiz industry and all what pageantry is, as uh, any other profession, and especially being a woman? I think men are equally very vulnerable while they are having the choices, tough choices to make, and especially being into the um, meet, uh, into the uh, showbiz area. What are your comments? Correct. So, what I believe, yes, it is very difficult for women nowadays to come out of their comfort zone to have the social question on your head. What will people think? What will the other person say? And how am I going to represent myself? See, if there are good people also, then there are like if there are critics also, then there are well-wishers also. Both are in the society for you. What what you have to see that you are on the right path. You're not doing anything bad. You're doing good. Your consciousness is allowing you to be a good person. As far as you are going on that good path, I don't think there should be any problem or restriction. Yes, for women it is difficult because men do, you know, they would just leave a message on you, they would leave a comment on you, Eve teasing is there and so many other things are happening nowadays which is very common. I would say you have to stand strong and once you are out there it is not really important to you know to put a lock or put a, a full stop to everyone's mouth. I would say ignorance is the key. People will be there throwing stones at you but picking their stones and making a diamond crown for your head is what matters. So it's not important to you know people want when somebody says something to you you want to answer back because that is what a human nature is that I want to answer back to the person how dare somebody say something to me I don't do that I would rather keep quiet be ignorant about it because I'm not here to please everyone or make everyone happy no I know I am doing right I know my family is in my support my almighty is with me and that is how I go ahead and I believe we women, if we are strong like that, I don't think anyone can say anything. And even if they say, we have to be ignorant and just keep doing what we want to do. I guess there are good people in every area and there are bad people yes. in every area. Yes. So you have to focus upon where you want your energies to be. Exactly. So what do you think that uh, the industry is like, uh, we always talk about male, female, uh, males get more, females get less. So what is your experience so far, uh, gender equality and uh, the attitude of male uh, artist and female artists? Correct. I would say um, yes, there, there, there was a gender, uh, you know, the differentiation of a male and a female. But I don't think it is no more. Because uh, if I talk about the pageant, so this is Mrs. and this is just all ladies and all female. And even talking about Mrs. Canada now, it is being head by Annie Manjaran who herself is a female. Even all our judges are females and we all are females participating into it. So females have reached up to a level now that they hold a very strong power, like a women power, Nari Shakti Jo Hoti Hai. Agar aap usko ek saath leke chale, agar sari women apna haath pakad ke apna haath bhi raise karen, like different kind of a vibe or strong energy aapko ek milti hai, which can, you know, uh, males ki power ko, I wouldn't say unko kh kh degrade kar de ya khatam kare, but equally strong hum log stand ho jate hai. So I would say that this is a society abhi jahan women ko equal importance ya equal power di gai hai, which is very nice. So the domain matters. So women domain can be yes. run by women and it can be yes. done by women, by the support of women. Any message you want to convey through us to the audience who is looking forward f to go into pageantry and those who want to participate in your um, uh, program. So first of all I want to thank you all for being with my journey for following me on the Instagram where my handle is Kanika underscore winner Miss India Worldwide 2023. There I keep posting, I keep sharing all the informative uh, pageant related uh, uh, industries or the opportunities that keep coming my way and I would request you all to uh, look around you to open your eyes and see that these kind of 
of pageants are existing uh, which I am a part of this is my second one that I participated on this kind of a level. So if you guys want to be a part of Mrs. Canada 2024 which will happen you guys can follow Mrs. Canada Inc on uh, social media you can get all the updates from there and uh, being in a country which is so versatile I really like about this that not only Indians me coming from India there are people coming from different parts of the world who get a chance to meet to socialize together to know them their culture talk to them so pageant industry I believe is not just about winning and losing so my message to the world is that you should not be offended or you know cry over things that I am going to win or I'm not going to win. Every journey and every pageant is a learning experience. Learning experience with people around you, with people inside you. You get to know a different you. I realized a different me when I got into this industry. So similarly, I would say when getting onto this, there will be a different you that you will realize that it is not just about winning a pageant, about your beauty. It is about doing something good for the society. That has always been my concern. So if you guys want to have any message, you guys want to follow or you guys want to have any content about what is happening, please do follow Mrs. Canada Inc, which is on Instagram. Thank you very much for being with us, Kanika, today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alma, for having me here. It was always wonderful to be with you. So save your date, 16th July, and go to Toronto for uh, Miss, Mrs. Canada Inc. pageantry. It's all about networking, grooming, and growing, which is the most important thing. When we get together, when we participate in different activities, we learn a lot. Canada is a very versatile country. It gives opportunity to everybody women are strong they have come to the point where they have learned that life is a bigger element than just being genderly discriminated and genderly behavior so we have to come out we have to see and we have to grow and groom and participate in the betterment of the surrounding we are living in with these words aaj ka ye show mere sath dekhne ka bahut shukriya